أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم الله الكبير بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المقلوب عليهم ولا النهار عليهم الله الكبير <تصفيق> Again, as usual, we are indebted to God for this opportunity and this blessing that he has bestowed upon us today and uh, has chosen to uh, spread his mercy and, uh, and his absolute generosity uh, to us that, uh, that we are able and willing to do this. And, uh, <clears throat> um, this is not by accident, this is by divine design and, and providence, and we have to according to be grateful to the source of this blessing that we have today. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people don't do this. They don't want to do this. They want to run away. And, uh, and that is not the way to succeed. Uh, the only way that we can succeed is to gravitate towards God and, and follow his path and, and uh, uh, yield to his instructions. And that they're only good for us. Uh, this is this is God is our friend and our our mentor and our creator and so he knows what's best for us and those, so according to those he gives us instructions uh, so we can we can be uh, uh, leading a better life and a more fulfilling life so <clears throat> our whole life is not going to be a failure and we're not going to be lost and and uh, in, a, in a situation that we cannot get out of and, uh, so this this is whole this whole situation that you're in right now is uh, is because of God and and so without that we would be completely uh, uh, deprived from this this, this uh, huge favor that is bestowed upon us today and so as I said is uh, is always say that this is this is a, a gratefulness and thankfulness is a is a godlike quality and uh, <clears throat> so uh, we have to follow that 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 path we have no other option okay that's the only path that we should should follow remember now uh, god put us in charge here and so so we have to we have to we have to follow his path and his uh his uh his system if you will okay so uh so today what i wanted to talk to you today uh, today is about about the um uh, language of mathematics okay and i'm just going to go through this um, uh, these findings today, and some are new and some are old because uh, uh, what we didn't know before actually comes into focus. It's sort of like a like a lens, okay? That you keep making a better, better, better and better telescope, a better and better microscope, and and then you will see the you know the finer aspects of of something that was a blur and all of a sudden it comes into focus and so this is we are on that path that we see things more clearly and accordingly we can explain it to other people it is not a language it's the language of mathematics which is universal and so you can explain this from some guy from the Andromeda galaxy without any barriers because they can understand the same thing that you do again uh, in every corner of the galaxy in this galaxy in that galaxy two plus two is equal to four and that's a fact and that is not going to change it's not subject to argument um, <clears throat> so anyway so we want to concentrate on this on the 19th emir and the 19th emir is is um, uh, 359 Okay. And so we talked about this 359 a lot, and um, <clears throat> and so this emir uh, obviously has something which is written backward, which is also a prime number, and that's 953. So I just what I do, I just change the order of the of the digits there, and it becomes 953. 953 compo- 9, 953rd composite happens to be 1143, which is nine times one two seven. So immediately, then this 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 uh, <clears throat> um, this number three fifty nine 
actually testifies that nine is supposed to have 127 persons, okay? And in all of the systems that God has, God has two, um, two witnesses, okay? So I want to I just digress from this and, and tell you, okay, what the situation of the Quran is and what these four bullets that I just showed you here, or three bullets, okay, that testifies that nine is supposed to have 127 verses. God has two, um, two witnesses, okay? This is God's system. That God's system, God says, his system is immutable. Sunnatullah. There is only one sunnah, and that's God's sunnah. There is no other sunnah. Okay? Quran is clearly tells us the sunnatullah. So God's sunnah, or God's system, is that he has to, I would say that has been from the very beginning. Okay? That has to be for every transaction, for everything, as there are two witnesses. In chapter 2, verse 282, remember, which is the longest verse in the Quran. It's almost one page long. Okay, it tells you about how to lend money. Okay, what is the right of the guy who's, who's lending money? What's the, what's the right of the guy who had borrowed the money? There are two eyewitnesses that they have to testify to this. Okay? So, <clears throat> um, will, for example, supposed to be the two eyewitnesses, okay? So, and, and so this has been the case. And here it actually tells us that because in 359, chapter 3, verse 59, God is talking about Adam and Jesus, okay? And so in that one, God is telling us that there were two eyewitnesses to this situation, which is 1143 is equal to 9,027, from the structure of these numbers, okay? So let's go on. 953 is the 162nd prime number, okay? Now listen to this very carefully. This was new, okay? 162, 162nd spinning number is 1131. And 1131st prime number is 9127. Okay. Again, we are back to the same thing. 162nd composite is 209. 209 Gaussian composite is 2917. The 11th permutation of 1279 is 2917. The 19th permutation of 1279 is 9127. Note that 209 is actually 11 times 19. So the order of those in the permutation group properties, which is the rank 11 and 19, gives you the two prime components of 209. And 209 happens to be the frequency of Ayn Sin but in, in Surah 42, okay? So why the Surah 42? Because the index of Gaussian composite 2917, the index of this prime, okay, this is also a prime. It's a Gaussian composite. That means that it can be factored out in the complex domain. Not real number, complex numbers, okay? But it's also a prime number. That index happens to be <clears throat> 422, Ain Sin Gav actually assign, is assigned verse, Surah verse number 42.2. So it tells you exactly what it's supposed to be. There are debates about that because, as I said, a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of Qur'ans, not the Hafs Qur'an, not the Hafs Qur'an, the other Qur'ans that are in circulation, they bundle these two things up. Okay? So they are all basically in the same verse. That's not true. It's not, it's not correct. I ain't seen God supposed to be 42.2 from these numbers. <clears throat> and this is absolutely amazing. Okay, so now let's go back a little bit on this, okay? <clears throat> um, as I said, uh, God includes everybody. Okay, in this situation, God includes everybody. And so one of the things that we, we notice here that for example, 11th permutation of, uh, I'm sorry, 209th Gaussian composite happens to be 2917, okay? 2917 really doesn't jump at you. But then again, <clears throat> anybody can count. Anybody can add. 
2 plus 9 is 11, plus 1 is 12, plus 7 is 19. So, you see, even if said you don't know those other things, you do not understand those other things, this, you under, this fact you understand. Okay? You can understand to multiply 11 by 19. Okay? And get 209. That's a little bit more complicated, but still, a lot of people can do that. Okay? So, how did we do this? 40 years ago, 50 years ago. We went in there and counted the number of Einstein cops in chapter 42, and it became 209, and 209 was 11 times 19, and everybody was happy. Everybody was elated. That was divisible by 19. This system tells you why it's supposed to be 209. It cannot be 228. It cannot be 12 times 19. It cannot be 190. It cannot be 10 times 19. It's supposed to be 209 exactly. And this methodology that I just told you tells you why it's supposed to be 209. Okay? So when I tell you about the generator of the Quran, that's what I mean. Okay? And it tells you what it's supposed to be. When I ain't seen cops, it tells you what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in 42.2 because that generates 422. This is the awesomeness of the Quran. And you can explain this to anybody. This is not going to go away because this, this planet is going to blow up tomorrow. Or the sun is going to become a white dwarf or something. It's not going to happen. This is not going to go away. This is not going to go away because you are burning the Quran. This is mathematics and it's independent of all of those things that I just told you. But this tells you what that book is supposed to have in it. And so every week that we see this, it comes more in focus. Why 162 assigned as the index of, of 209? Why 162nd prime is 953? Because we didn't know about Sphenic numbers. Now that we know Sphenic numbers, 162 happens to be the index of 1131, and 1131st prime happens to be 9127. This is the awesomeness of this thing, okay? And so we accordingly, accordingly, we praise the author of the Quran. It cannot be authored by anyone except by God. Because to understand these things, to realize these things, there are a lot of loose ends that we do not know. And it reveals to us accordingly, according to the time and that God actually reveals it little by little okay so it actually we enjoy it it's not all at once because we could not digest it just a lot of information there and he puts it, as I said, in the language of mathematics, which is completely independent on the fact that which language you are speaking in. It doesn't matter. Because as God says in chapter 41, verse 44, we just read it a few weeks ago, so that had we revealed a non-Arabic Quran, they would have said, why did it come down in that language? So there would have been an excuse not to read the Quran, not to follow its instructions, okay, which are very simple and to the point. And as I say, it's, it's good for our own good. See that? You know, you go to a doctor and the doctor tells you you should take this medicine and that medicine and that medicine. And a lot of you, you don't know what's in those medications. I have no idea. The doctor doesn't know it. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. 
but you you follow the doctor's prescription okay and god is giving a prescription for life how to live your life the one who created you and you turn your back to that can you imagine that and then we whine and complain later on why it is like this because we did it we didn't listen we were the bad guys okay so if they ask you to do this the doctor tells you to do this you do it you make sure you do it take this antibiotics two times a day okay you make sure that you take it in the morning and in the evening so you don't forget it and he told you look uh, observe the contact phrase five times a day and all kinds of excuses come in why we shouldn't do it that's coming from the from the one who has created you and is knowledge all knowledgeable about your system what you need and what you must have in order to lead a good life a life of satisfaction a life of happiness and we turn our backs to him we don't want to do that so if you don't take those antibiotics you're going to die from the infection so you make sure that you do that and it's only a doctor who makes a lot of mistakes okay 11 percent of the uh, uh, diagnoses are misdiagnosed right? 800,000 mis- misdiagnoses in, in, in the United States every year can you imagine that that's 11 percent one out of every 10 and 300,000 or 350,000 people die the rest are either maimed or, or, or something bad happens to them and you listen to those guys when it comes to God everybody is becoming you know uh, all-knowing and, and everything and uh, they want to know everything immediately okay and God says you there's a time for everything it's not your time to know it right now when the time comes he'll let you know so these numbers as I said they are completely independent of all of those excuses that people are making okay these things can be verified they can be scrutinized it can be seen in front of us and that's the beauty of it that's why we should strive in the cause of God and make sure that we glorify him and praise him and be grateful to him for giving us all of these opportunities and all of these signs that he gives us to bring reassurance to us that we are on the right path okay I'm going to stop here and we finish this unit Allah will give you Thank <laughs> you.